Hey YouTube, Cliff here. And so full disclosure, I just want to say this up front. I like Dave Ramsey. I really do. I think overall he has done a net good towards the finance community and just helping people with money in general. It's just every time, and, and he's been doing this a lot lately, he talks about crypto and it is apparent that he has no idea anything to do with crypto. And that would be okay with me if he was just honest about it, but he, he, he has an opinion, and a very strong opinion, and it, it's to the point that his show is starting to look like the CNN or Fox News of the finance space, where they, they set a point, they will not negotiate anywhere from that point, they will not have any opinion, it's not up for discussion, this is how things go, we will show this one-sided argument, and that's just how they're going to do it. And you can actually see in his co-host that it's a policy. Like, this this is what we believe. You will not say anything. You will not go against Dave. And it just it becomes frustrating. Not even frustrating. It's just kind of a letdown because I'm such a fan of Dave. And I wouldn't even say that he needs to come out and endorse crypto. That's fine if he doesn't like it. It's just that he, one, doesn't know anything about crypto and he's trying to make an opinion on it it and it's just that he is stubborn on that opinion he could come out and say i don't know anything about this don't invest in it and, and really his, his audience is geared towards people who maybe don't have as much financial knowledge they're just trying to learn how to build a budget they're trying to get out of debt obviously they shouldn't be investing in crypto that that's great you know I, i'm with him for that but I just kind of wish he would he would say that and not take this weird, I hate to call him a boomer, but he's taking the boomer stance on every issue. But anyway, well, we have a caller here. Calls into the Ramsey Show, and he's made an investment into Bitcoin. So let's go ahead and hear. Years ago, probably, I don't know, 2014, um, I probably spent fifteen hundred dollars on buying Bitcoin, um, and I probably made one hundred and twenty thousand dollars <laughs> off of it. Uh, so he bought Bitcoin, fifteen hundred dollars in twenty fourteen, and now he has twenty k. Um, so I, it was it was such a small amount. I just I like I bought it and I just left it. I never did anything with it. Um, I know it's very risky and everything, but I didn't really put any money into it. Um, what do you guys, what do you guys think about that? Is, is Wait a minute, are you I, saying you can cash it out today for a hundred grand? For sure. Okay. So by not, but, yeah, no, just really listen, listen to me just a second. Okay. okay. There, there's a process in finance called sunk cost analysis. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. And so if you don't cash it out today in the morning, you have reinvested a hundred thousand dollars into Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. That's. That's not actually true. You can actually pull up Investopedia right here. A sunk cost refers to money that has already been spent and cannot be recovered. So his 1500 that he initially put into Bitcoin, that's his sunk cost. It's not him reinvesting 120 k every year. I'm, honestly, to his point, though, I, I agree. I think if, if there is something that he needs out of this money, he should sell it should scare your brains out <laughs> it's not 1500 it's a hundred thousand yeah. that again that's not that's not what a sunk cost is your sunk cost is the money that you put into something that's the cost that you are sinking into something every day you right. leave it there you are reinvesting yeah. into this again right by nightfall dude Cash it. <laughs> okay. Bitcoin is it's going over fifty percent of your freaking net worth. Yeah. is on the. And I, I agree with him there. If it's fifty percent of his net worth, he probably should take some profits. He's done a great job. Uh, go and try to diversify. Get some real estate. Invest in stocks. You know, if he has any debt, he could pay that down. Yeah, definitely. I'm with Dave on that. The roulette table. <laughs> on one roll of the dice. It's in code. I like how his co-host says. He says it's in code. Like, that's a bad thing. 
Yeah, if you if you really can yeah. cash it out, and <laughs> you may find out that this is funny money. But I hope you can. I hope you can, too. And Run. Man, gee, man, Run man. away. Run. Run away. Yeah. You know. Uh, he, he doesn't even believe you can cash out Bitcoin. That's how far removed from cryptocurrency that he is. And, and again, that's okay. If he doesn't, if crypto's not his thing, that's perfectly fine. But to spread rumors, like, can you not cash it out or anything? Yeah. Of course you can cash it out. You can cash out Bitcoin. I, I've seen him before in the past where he was comparing Bitcoin to Beanie Babies and how it's like a, a collectible. And this, he just gets ridiculous. Um, I, you know, this is one of those things, you guys, where, again, you're hearing about this stuff out there and it sounds too good to be true. It is. And you got to be careful. You really do. Um, I've talked to a lot of people that have been burned on this. and I, I, I don't believe that he's actually talked to anyone about Bitcoin. I, I don't believe that they know anything about Bitcoin at all. I'm just being honest. Um, but to to Daniel's point, um, so he bought Bitcoin in around December? Or no, no, he bought it in 2014, but the call is from December. So around December time frame, Bitcoin was almost at 20K. Right now it's at 60K. So if he had 120K at the time that he called, he's 3 x He's working with 360K at that point, if he had held. And I believe at this point, the bear market, or the bull market's not over. It's going to keep going up at this point. And I, I can't prove that. I don't, you know, it's not financial advice. I just, that, that's what I feel. I think it's still going up. Unfortunately, have gone the route of even leveraged investing schemes, which is pulling money out of their house to invest, which is an absolute no-no. And so just be, be smart. Do long-term investing. Whenever you try to get rich quick, what I've found is you end up... No one is telling anyone to pull money out of their house to invest in Bitcoin. I don't think anybody in the crypto space would tell anybody to do that. Bitcoin can be a long-term investment. And I actually have a chart. I can show them when he's, he's talking about Bitcoin being get rich quick scene. But as you can see, starting from 2011, if you had invested in Bitcoin of any of these years, you would have made tremendous gains, way more than you would have made in the stock market. See, typically what happens is every three years we'll have a dip. We'll have a little bear market and people will freak out. But if you look for the year before, let's go back to 2013. Bitcoin was up 5,500%. Then it fell 58%. That's when everybody was, oh no, Bitcoin is, it's going to be banned. Probably China FUD and Bitcoin has failed and all that stuff. And you can see the next year is it was, it was heading right back up. So as long as you hold on to Bitcoin every single year, you've made returns way better than the stock market. Getting broke fast. And so you want to have a mindset of building wealth over time. You know, the, I, I hope that you can cash it out when you go to do it tonight. I'm suspect when I hear 1,500 turns into 100,000. I'm really suspect that, you, that you're getting. Um, I, I hope you can. I hope you yeah, can. And see, he doesn't, he doesn't know anything about Bitcoin. Could you imagine trying to explain a Bitcoin wallet to him and how a public and private key works? And it's... it's moving across a ledger across the internet and it's being recorded by blockchain like i i would understand that that's not dave ramsey's field he doesn't understand anything about the internet but i just kind of wish he would say hey look i don't understand this so i'm not going to tell you to invest in it if you can i'll just leave it at that i hope you don't find other things when you go try to cash it out um but those numbers are are bizarre Mm -hmm. The only thing he's going to find out when he goes to cash out is that he's going to have a huge tax bill. And um, and if it is, if you are able to cash it out, the other danger is, is that you actually pulled off this crap once and it's going to tempt you to do it again. So, um, but you do whatever you want to do. But I, um, I am not a fan of ultra high risk investments. And uh, at a minimum, that's what we would call Bitcoin at a minimum. We could call it a lot of other stuff, too. A whole lot of things. But, um, yeah. 
an, alterna- an alternative currency. <laughs> well, so, even I'd love to see what he calls it. If it is an alternative currency, yeah. I don't buy currencies. Well, and the other side, and, and that's the thing. It's not just an alternative currency. That's the issue we're having in the states is that there isn't a way to make a class for this. No one knows what it is. It 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 is a currency. It's an asset. And some could kind of argue that Bitcoin kind of works like a security in a way, even though it's decentralized and doesn't have any leaders. You could probably argue that it kind of works like a stock in a way. That is, if you can't do that, the other phone call you need to make is to a tax ELP uh, so you can understand the realized gain on that because you are going to deal with Uncle Sam on the growth. And again, you know, I think, Daniel, you walking through the process and being very intentional with this. And on the other side, too, with this wildlife. Yeah, that, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. Um, I like Dave Ramsey. I'm just kind of bummed out the way he approaches this one. Like I said, it'd be perfectly okay if he said, I don't know anything about this. I, I'm not going to suggest you invest in it. And probably 90% of his callers are just trying to get out of debt anyway. So they don't need to be investing in something that could be as risky as Bitcoin. I just, I don't know. I wish they would approach it a little bit better. So let me know what you think down below. I'd like to see what your opinions may be on what Dave Ramsey thinks about this. And uh, see you next video.